from the most famous words in motorsports. From the action adventure film Sahara, opening April 8th in theaters everywhere, actor Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. Gentlemen, start your command from Matthew. Now the guys will call the race, and uh, they're getting fired up. The voices of NASCAR on Fox, Daryl Waltrip, Larry McReynolds. Let's also welcome in Mike Joy. Hey, Mike, you guys ready to go? We've been waiting all winter for this, uh, Chris. Now, that was 16 years ago, Daryl. You and me in Victory Lane, we only had one microphone then, but Scott runs up to me this morning. He's five years old. He goes, Dad, Dad, tell me this is the Daytona 500. <laughs> I, listen, I know how he feels. Listen, I, I, I laid awake all night long. I, I didn't sleep at all that night. I, I prayed. I prayed for my car. I prayed for my team. I was so nervous, and that's the way every driver feels when you start this race. Anticipation. You're anticipating so many things. You, you borrow trouble. You think of every possible scenario that could go wrong. What's going to happen to my car? What's going to happen to my crew? What's going to happen when what, when somebody bump drafts me? Are they going to hit me too hard and wreck me? So many things go through your mind. But you know what? At the end of the day, and where you and I were, it's all about relief. I am so relieved to finally have won the Daytona 500. It's the biggest day of a driver's life. But Larry McReynolds, you have two of those championship rings as crew chief with Davey Allison and Dale Earnhardt. What did winning this race mean to you? Well, Mike, it's something I thought about when I was a little boy, coming in here sitting in the grandstands. It's something that I thought about working on those short track cars around Birmingham. The first 11 years I came here as a crew chief, and you would be pumped up to win it, and then you'd leave here and say, you know what, we'll get them next year. And finally in 1992, won that Daytona 500 for Davey Allison, you feel like your career is complete. And to come back for a second time in 1998, and win it with Dale Earnhardt, and, and I put this ring on, and it's one, other than my wedding ring, it's one of my most prized possessions, because winning the Daytona 500 twice is two of the most special moments in my career and in my life. Nobody else might kiss this ring, but I sure do. <laughs> it's the biggest single day of any stock car racer's career, the Daytona 500. Budweiser, official beer of NASCAR, proud sponsor of the Budweiser Pole Award, given to the fastest qualifier at each Nextel Cup race. Budweiser congratulates Dale Jarrett. There is the last man to win the Daytona 500 from the pole, Dale Jarrett, a three-time winner of the Daytona 500. Here's how they will line up today. Alongside Jarrett, Jimmy Johnson, winner of four of the last six Nextel Cup races. In row two, the winners of Gatorade's duel at Daytona, Michael Walter, Tony Stewart. Row three, defending 500 champ Dale Earnhardt Jr. with Jeff Burt, new leader of the Childress team, perhaps. Mike Skinner and Kevin LePage, two dark horses in Dodges. Row 5, the Rocket, Ryan Newman and Martin Truex Jr., the Bush Series champion. Row 6, Ricky Rudd in his 28th 500, and Scott Riggs, who made his next Hill Cup debut here last year. The champion of the series, Kurt Busch, and the prior champ, Matt Kenseth. Jeff Gordon. Two times a Daytona 500 champion. Scott Wimmer, who was third last year. A brace of Dodges in row nine. Jamie McMurray, Sterling Marlin. Kyle Busch, younger brother of the series champ. And Bobby Labonte, a past champion. Kenny Wallace in his ninth 500. And Bobby Hamilton, Jr. Drake Biffle, who won the July race here a year ago. Jeremy Mayfield, who has a third place finish in this race. Travis Quaffle, a truck series champ. And Jeff Green, a Bush series champion. Carl Edwards graduates from the Truck Series, and Brian Vickers, two years ago, the Bush champion. Casey Mears and Kevin Harvick back at row 15. Then, veteran Ken Schrader and Mark Martin in his final 500 appearance. In the 17th row, Kyle Petty, fastest of the Dodges in time trials. Joe Nemechek in a backup car. Mike Bliss moves over to the Zero team, and Rusty Wallace in his final 500 appearance. Casey Kane with all those runner-up finishes last year, five of them, and Dave Blaney. Elliott said their transmission trouble forces him to the rear alongside Jason Leffler in a new Joe Gibbs ride. Boris said the road racing expert and John Andretti. Finally, Mike Wallace got the final transfer spot on speed to break into this race. The field rolls out, and we will too, and we'll be back for the start of the 47th annual day.